some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Washington State at the uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife with the frauditor known as Inland Auditing Media as he attempts to uh, get a FOIA request done. But you know what? He doesn't seem to understand that there are other ways of obtaining a FOIA request uh, other than harassing employees who just probably don't know how to do it to begin with because not everybody's trained in that. That particular subject. But you know how frauditors are. They got to stir the pot so they can get a reaction, even if it's one that will get them kicked off a of property or anything like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Yeah, oh, good thing I'm not an Autobot. Yeah, I don't think you'd make a good Autobot because the Autobots were not in the business of... Uh, well, bothering anybody while they were in the performance of their duties and everything like that, you would be more the Decepticon kind of uh, person because they're the ones that bring chaos and disorder to everything, much like frauditors do. I think the last time I was at a hatchery was when I was uh, a kid. Okay. Oh, hello. Right. Hey, I was wondering if, where is the sort of admin office, I guess? Not here, no, not, not like an admin office. What are you looking for? Uh, I was looking to submit a records request. A records request? Uh, you have to call up to the main office to get up with the department. You know, Frauditor, uh, as many encounters as you have with people who apparently don't know how to uh, perform the FOIA request, it makes me wonder, are you specifically targeting these people or agencies or anything like that uh, that you would know that uh, ha don't have the ability or knowledge to do this? Yeah. Kind of makes you wonder now, doesn't it? Now, if Auditor wouldn't do anything so dishonest, now would they? I have to, I can't do it in person. You can go to Olympia. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's... I, so, are you a... Sorry, I may misunderstand you. Are you a state employee? Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I'd just like to make a verbal public records request with you, then. I know nothing about that. I don't know what... I don't know how to take care of that. Oh, uh, if you got, like... I mean, if you got a good memory, uh, or if you got a notepad... Records request for what? Records regarding this place. Just a sec. Sure. Well, fraud it or not, everybody has a good memory, especially certain uh, scumbags like yourself who keep on forgetting that you can be trespassed from public property. Well, like I said, if you got like, a notepad and a pen, I can just give you it to you. need to know what kind of records you're looking for. Sure. I mean, Susie, I mean, either if you want to, I can tell you now if you want to memorize it or if you want to get a notepad and pen first. Okay. You're a state employee, right? I am a state employee. So, look, I, you seem like a really nice person, so I don't want to jam you up on this. Uh, in light of the differences with cities and counties as a state employee, I'm making a request right now, so it has to be taken. So if you want to just write it down. He me on camera. I don't know why he's doing this. Well, ma'am, the reason why he's doing this is because he is a powerless frauder with no job, no intelligence, or any kind of empathy whatsoever. He wants that feeling of absolute power that he gets from bullying people that he knows can't fight back, such as yourself. You are just a pawn in his little game to get his rocks off and, well, get a few jollies out of it, not to mention some uh, ad revenue from YouTube. So basically, a leech on society. I'm being told I can give you my supervisor's email. You can contact him about it. Who's your supervisor? James Hodges. James Hodges? Yes. Gotcha. So I'll I just, give you his email. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Um, oh, by the way, so she's your state employee. What's her name? I'm trying to give him some information that he can contact my supervisor and he just won't stop asking me questions. 
you seem shocked that this person would even dare call the police on you. Well, when you walk around like this, dressed up uh, from head to toe in the skies, and you harass uh, an innocent female like this, yeah, you would expect her to call the cops. I mean, even a century ago, that would have happened. It's not just nowadays. It's every time period. Because you know, some people just can't fight back against people like this. Like, that's the way it is. And you know this. That's why you dress like this so you can get that reaction of the police being called on you. That way you can cry to your audience that the police were called on a poor little innocent frauditor. Am I right? A little longer than a few minutes later. All the employees are calling you. You're kind of scaring them. Uh, scaring them doing a public records request? Well, I don't know. What's going on? A public records request? I'm Sergeant Hanson, by the way, being an audio video reporter. Ah, nice to meet you. Yo, yo, please, Carl. Nice to meet you. What's yeah. your name, bud? Steve. Steve. What's your, uh, uh, you got a, like a business card or anything? Badge number? Uh, my badge number is 291. Is this consensual? Is it consensual? Yeah, is this a consensual encounter? We're just chatting here to oh. figure out okay, what's going on. No detention or anything? No. Okay, fair enough. No. Cool. Uh, so yeah, just trying to do a public records request. I was kind of about halfway into it before she just decided to be rude and not finish taking the records request. Oh. Okay, so. hey, what, what are we looking for? Records. What type, what type of records? <laughs> Honestly, I'm working on a story. I don't want to share that now because if you guys go and tell them and they can clean something up, oh. kind of defeats the whole point of reporting on things when... And I know the government never does stuff like that. So. Well, if I had a nickel for every time I heard the, a frauder say that I'm working on a story that you can't know anything about until I'm finished with it, I would be a very rich man. But if I also had a nickel for every time they actually published a story that they said they were going to publish, well, I would just have lint coming out of my pockets. And the same thing goes with this particular frauditor right here, because I've never seen him publish a story that was even, well, relevant to anything. They never yeah. do cleanups and all that kind of stuff, yeah. so. Yeah, I got you. Is so. Like the URL? What's that? You want the URL to go online for, I can give you the URL for the public disclosure request. Well, I'm here. I mean. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. You can certainly do it online. Yeah, yeah don't disagree yeah. with that. I see. Just looking to get it done while I'm here. And yeah, well, she said, I mean, yeah, just you're kind of aggressive, I guess, in your nature. of kind of freaked her out, hence why she's now locked herself in the office. So. Aggressive. That almost sounds like false reporting kind of action. Kind of tipping into that zone. Well, I'm just happy to show you the video footage to show that I'm, I'm okay. just as kind okay. and nice and polite as I am right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I right certainly on. wasn't going for the SWAT team mode against her trying to get my public records request. Right so. On. Well, yeah. So are you a, are you a, uh, do you work for a re reporting agency or are you so I'm an investigative. Okay. Yeah. Independent investigative journalist. I see. So okay. I got a tips and leads about a story. Well, two things. One that somebody believes there was some sort of a spill here, some sort of a contamination. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Yeah, dude, uh, that's the same excuse I've heard you give in every single one of your videos, that there's some accident or some safety concern or something like that. And I don't think I've ever seen you show us anything of the sort. You just uh, put your little video up there and expect us to believe that you're some sort of a hero trying to save everybody from what? I have no freaking clue. If you don't mind, Sergeant, uh, if you could let her know, I she just got done with mandatory training for the yeah. state back in July. Yeah. She's got to take the records request. I mean, I can't make her, but many, many minutes later. So she, uh, you know, she's gonna take the records request. No, she's she's, she's not. not. No, and she spoke with her supervisor. Yikes! And that's not a thing. So yeah, I mean, you know the proper channels, man. You can get on the state website. You can do your thing. Gotcha. Yeah. So Bob's wrong. Ferguson. About. I mean, this is, so I mean, obviously you realize this is a state agency, not a county or city. Yes. So cities and counties can kind of tweak it. You're the right. state can't tweak it at all. So in the administrative codes and Title 44, Chapter 14, okay. it just lays it out really clear in Section 03006. They have to take it on a walk-in verbal basis. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for providing that statute for us. That way we can go in and take a look at it. And here it is. In-person requests and 
agency must honor requests received in person during normal business hours, according to RCW 4256080, Section 2. An agency should have its public records request forms available at the office reception area so it can provide them to a walk-in requester. The form should be directed to the agency's public records officer. Now the question comes in, does this particular building have a, uh, a records officer or even a reception area? Or is it that uh, you're just completely ignoring the fact that they're directing you to the officer that you are supposed to be dealing with? Now let's just go further down this uh, particular statute, shall we? And uh, let's look at this. An agency can adopt reasonable procedures requiring requests to be submitted only to designated persons, such as the public records officer or a specific agency address. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Fish and Wildlife site and see what they have to say. Oh my goodness, looky here what they've got. They've got the procedures listed here. So you didn't have to come here and cause any trouble. You just wanted to do this because you're an asshole. Yikes. Well, she, yeah, she's brand new. She's not doing that today. So, and that's per her boss as well. Uh, I so mean, yeah, you're, she'll you're have free to, from her boss. You're but... free to, I mean, take it up with the, the, the bosses down there for yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think they're kind of throwing her in the bus a little bit. Is she, if you don't mind me asking, because I think this is actually pretty relevant. When you say new, is she saying like after yeah, July? I yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if it's after July, in all fairness, I yeah. think she would actually have a legitimate excuse because yeah. the MRSC well, training was in July. In all, in, all, in all fairness, right? I mean, you, you could also you know take a kind of a step back here and you know act a little bit more professional manner and, and go through the correct chains of uh, the correct chains i'm doing it exactly as well the attorney I general said understand but today you're not going to get it right so it'd be behoove of you to go through the proper channels to get your get your, get your request right well, i mean i can politely disagree with you absolutely. we'll have to agree to disagree absolutely yes uh, i i do want to take umbrage with something i think that you're uh profoundly incorrect about the dude you've been told several times that she is not exactly a designated FOIA officer and that you're not going to get it from her today so what's the obvious approach go on to their website and take a look at it because the instructions are quite clear as what you should be doing but yet that would be the easy way out you don't want to do that you want to make it hard on everybody else but I don't want to be inconvenienced. It's about my convenience and yeah. my preference. Yeah. It's not about I got it. the state or the city or the county. You, so. All right. All right. So you're going to refuse the public records request verbally. For, for what? This contact right here now? Yeah. Verbally? Yeah. I'm submitting a verbal public records request to you. Yes. You have to You have to go on the website and fill the form out. Got everything in here. All right. Yes, sir. Have a good day. You too, bud. You, you going to hang out here? I'm going to wait to see if she actually ends up coming out and taking that public records request. Okay. She's not going to. Well. I'm going to document the obstinance of the state of Washington okay. after the July 15th MRSE training. So you're just going to stand here and make this young lady just feel absolutely uncomfortable I'm, look, and unsafe. I've done nothing rude, impolite, or anything with her. In fact, when she came out, she said she got her boss on the phone. She, at, she said, hey, this guy's looking to do a public records request. I said, look, if you just go get a notepad, pen, I'll give it to you. I'm out of here. I'm done. But she wants to be obstinate. I'm not going to let her trample on my lawful rights within the state of Washington for the Public Records Act. To oh, blow it out your ass, Howard. Prevent me from getting the records request. May I see your ID, bud, so I know I'm talking to you? Get you documented, Cat. This is still a casual. I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, I'm asking. If I'm not detained, I'm not going to give you any. You don't ID. want to ID yourself? Nope, not at all in any way. Okay. So, okay. what I'd like to do is honestly just have sort of a triumvirate of success here. The Puyallup City Police Department yeah. combines with a journalist and yeah. a state employee. Combines with, just... a, combines with a journalist who's, <laughs> who's so willing to work and just kind of work in the moment, right? Together, well, yeah. To get the information I'm seeking, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this doesn't have to be so ob it, you guys it, don't have to be so obstinate about it, this. It doesn't. You're exactly right. So I'm the one that should cave to the government. The government... No one's, no one's saying to cave to anything. Well, you're saying I should follow social norms. You implied that. I said the way to get a public records request of a, of a case or a cat... Sure. Well, one of five is, ways. Is to, yeah, get online and do it. It's that simple. I get what you're saying, Sergeant. Look, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. I have no ill will against anyone. Yeah. I'm not and here of to course, do anything neither, neither do we. I'm just 
the gal in here, right? You making her uncomfortable. I'm sorry, officer, but you're dealing with a simpleton right here. He doesn't understand uh, what the norms are. He doesn't understand uh, how to follow the law. He doesn't understand how to not annoy people. He just goes around life being entitled to everything around him, thinking that he owns everything and everything like that. But you know what? He's just a dumbass. <laughs> I can't control her feelings, but frankly, it's a bit absurd when I was extremely polite and cordial to her, mm -hmm. explaining to her for well, her I mean, benefit. I mean, like you're being cordial with us. I mean, your, your mask and your video camera and right. That's a little I bit. Imagine someone uh, using their Fourth Amendment well, against fusion again, centers. A young lady and they're working by herself, right? Sure. And you know what? You I didn't scared even... her a little bit. That's fair to say. I right? didn't scare her. She okay. chose to she be scared. She is scared from okay. your actions. Well, no, I didn't take any actions. I'm telling you, she is scared. She, okay. Well, that's the way, her... the way you're making her feel. I don't know why she's doing that. I'm not making her feel anymore. Well, that, that's what's going on. Now, that's what's I think, happening. I so think, whether that's your intention or not, I don't think it is. But no, right? how, I, I you're, how you're that. handling yourself today, that, that's, what's, that's what's going on. How I'm handling myself. Calmly, politely, cordially. Right. So what would be nice, I could even meet her halfway. She could even go to the top of the stairs. No, she talked to her boss. There's going to be no more communication with her today. All right. so. Well, look, I'm just going to finish getting my B-roll footage in. And I'll call it. How about okay. it? You guys have a good day. You too, man. Yeah, you go finish getting your B-roll footage in. Why don't you try actually correctly reading the freaking statutes? I mean, there are provisions for situations like this. This woman is not trained in it, probably because this is not a reception area like it says within the statute. So you might want to, well, be a little bit more honest with your audience, okay? But I understand that I'm trying to tell that to a damn fraud auditor who tends to lie all the damn time and twist the words of statutes and everything like that but at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one this could be some groundbreaking stuff right here Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?